Hello everybody, welcome back to this brand new video where today I'm showing you how you can go and get shaders on Minecraft, the latest version, insanely easily, just like on the screen right now. Before we get any further, make sure you smash a big fat like, subscribe down below, and hit the notification button without any further ado. Let's get straight into this. So guys, I'm going to put all the links down below, but the first site we need to go to is optifine.net slash downloads. It'll be linked first down below, and we need to go and get the latest version of Optifine. So this doesn't only allow you to install shaders, but it also is going to speed up your game a lot, okay? Like, you, seriously, the game will be so much faster once you have this installed. So obviously, you want to go and get the latest version, which is HD Ultra 1.14.4, whichever is the latest game version you want to get. So all you want to do is click download, and obviously now it's going to download. You will have to have this, so I'm going to quickly go back because I didn't actually turn off my ad block, um, and you have to have it off, so pause on all sites, and then go click download. And that's going to take us to um, Adfly. So simply wait a few seconds for these ads to go. Uh, click deny just to be safe. Click continue. Uh, get off this and click to continue once again. Now we've got to wait five seconds. And now once we wait the five seconds, it's going to redirect us to the download page uh, where we can go and actually download it. So wait for that. And then it's going to click skip ad. Click on that. You may get another pop-up. If you do, quickly click off it. But now all you want to do is click download Optifine right now. And it's going to quickly download down the bottom. Now, once it's downloaded, you will probably get this actual message. Just make sure you click keep and you'll be fine. And then you can go and click on Optifine, just like so. And now it's going to load up and you, I've got it on my other monitor. But you will get a pop-up and make sure you just click you open it with Java. Uh, you may need to install Java for this and I'm getting pop-ups on my other monitor. So now we can close off this for now and we can simply click install and it's going to get us the latest version. Uh, so click install and you may get a security pop-up um, and you'll get a message saying, Optifine is now successfully installed, just like so. Click OK, and now it's completely installed, so all you need to do is go and open up Minecraft, uh, just like we did uh, a few minutes ago. So reopen it up, and now we need to run it. Uh, I'm sorry, everything keeps going on by the monitor. So what we want to do is make sure you've got the latest version uh, clicked, and make sure you haven't got the game version. So make sure you've got 1.14.4 selected, click play. And now it's going to simply load up and it's going to come up my other monitor again. So I'll quickly um, bring it over. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, it's now loading up. I'll quickly drag it over and it will go full screen. And then we need to go and basically just load it up. And then we need to go and find the shaders we want. And I found some good shaders, which I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to quickly jump into this world just to make sure Optifine is loaded in correctly. So as you can see, we're now doing fine. And we're back in a world. So once you go to options and then video settings, as you can see, there are so many more options, including shaders, which I'm going to go and talk about in a minute. But first, we need to go and find the shaders we're going to want. Um, but I really reckon if you've got a, a, a bad PC, I suppose, or just a low spec, go to performance and you can choose all these off um, like animations. And th this turning these off and on will actually make the game so much faster. Um, and there's also obviously animations. You cannot normally turn these off. So you can go all off or all on. And that's just some of the good benefits of Optifine. It will literally speed up your game tremendously which is so so useful because it's irritating when it's laggy um, anyway yeah so this is obviously normal minecraft and you can also um get texture packs but obviously that's a separate matter but now we've loaded this and we've got some bunnies here and you can also zoom using c so actually zoom in which is pretty cool but anyway let's go into these shaders so i'm going to click save and quit to title click quit game and then all you want to do is go to the next site which i'm going to pull up on the screen so we're now on the next site where we'll go and download the shaders that you're going to want to choose. So obviously there are so many different ones and here are some in installation instructions. So I basically visualize these for you. But as you can see, you've got light, medium, high, high motion blur, extreme, and extreme volumetric. So extreme volumetric, that's literally if you've got like, you know, a huge computer. Uh, so I personally have high, but I could either run medium or even light. I mean, light is still obviously really nice. Um, I'm going to go for medium this time just to compare actually. So click on that. And you're going to have another ad block, so you may need to quickly pause and then reload it, uh, just like so, reload, um, simply because you're not allowed to have um, ad block on. So simply wait, click and continue, and you'll need to get rid of this again, and then click continue again. Let's go load, and then we'll have to click obviously skip ad after the five seconds. But it's just one of those things. Obviously, these people have to make money somehow because uh, obviously these shaders do look pretty insane. So it's nice to give back somehow. So click skip ad. And then it's going to be here. So as you can see, this is a password. Do not just basically, you know, be careful of security. Now copy this link 
and we can okay it's, it took us there already uh, or you can copy and paste that link in then go and click download obviously it's such a small file actually so click download um, you may get a pop-up just quit off and um, it's gonna start downloading as you can see it's now downloaded so now what you want to do is get this file here uh, if I put it here and drag it onto your desktop just here uh, and you want to keep this here for now so the next thing you want to do is quit off Google Chrome and now we can go back to Minecraft so I'll load Minecraft up just like so uh, you go to the launcher and make sure obviously you're still running Optifine um, obviously you have got the the latest release but make sure you set on Optifine and you will need to update your Optifine as the obviously the game progresses if you want to get the update um, because if you then go back to the latest release you cannot use shaders which is obviously a shame as we've got this to use shaders right so obviously now it's open up in my other monitor I'll bring it across so here we go it's now the game's now loading up and we can go full screen again so now all you want to do is go to single player again, go back to the same world we were just on, and now we can quickly visualize what it's like before we go and get shaders, because honestly, shaders look absolutely insane. So we'll see, the game looks standard, standard Minecraft, bog standard Minecraft, we've got a few pigs, uh, here we go, pig. Um, anyway, let's go and get these shaders installed. So obviously the first thing you want to do is click S, options, video settings, and now we're back here. What you want to do is go to shaders now obviously these are the ones i had before now the first thing you need to do is click the shaders folder and you're going to get a pop-up of the shaders um packs where you put yours obviously i've got my one here you now need to drag the one we just downloaded into here and yet you don't have to have WinRAR, that's just how I open files, but you can open it up. Um, and as you can see, they just run in zips, and that's just how you use them. Uh, so now we can quit off this. And now we can go back into Minecraft, just like so. And as you can see, it's now there. So what I sometimes do is quickly refresh it, um, and then go back to shaders right now. And then you click on medium. And obviously it'll take a minute, it reloads the game basically, because obviously it's literally huge different textures. And here we go. This is it. So... If you did, if you compare this with the intro of the video, they literally look the same. Um, they, there is no major difference between high, medium, and light, except from like sometimes the shades are obviously a bit different, the colors are a bit different. But this still looks insane. So you don't have to have an insane PC for shaders. Just look at all these reflections and just look around and look. I think there's some fish down here. Here we go. This looks insane underwater. Like I just love how also the water has the different effect. Like it sort of warps the the world around. I think it looks absolutely incredible. And I think shaders does change the game so i re really would recommend getting it if you don't already if you don't already have it because um it looks really good and if you did enjoy this video please smash a like guys i want to make more minecraft tutorials it's, uh, people seem to be loving them right now um but i just absorb this although it does get very dark where it is dark so you may need to get some torches out uh, basically yes i mean i guess it just makes the world a bit darker um just because of the the shadows um obviously it creates so and the torches look really cool like look at that glow it's so more realistic like it makes minecraft look genuinely real and i absolutely love that actually part of the game so we can fly around um as you can see also my pc is um recording right now so that's why it is a bit laggy uh so i think one of the main differences between high and medium is the sun like now it's sort of like a blur but previously it was more of like a huge sort of sun sun ray coming down i guess you could put it as um, but still i think this looks absolutely insane as you can see look at the trees the trees move around uh, look at that in the wind and I think it looks really cool guys I, I absolutely love it I think it changed the game like hugely and we can break the blocks obviously um, and as you can see we still actually no there are some rays my bad but look at this walking through the woods getting the sun rays it's so realistic it reminds me of just yeah it just reminds me of the real world a bit more um so obviously make sure your pc has got decent specs that's the only really main requirement but apart from that you're all good to go guys so i hope you did enjoy this video please smash that like if you did and subscribe down below and hit the notifications and i'll catch you in the next video peace out